So you've probably had this problem before when working with gradients or vignettes, basically where you get this banding or stepping in your gradient. I will just zoom in so you can see that a bit better. I'll just zoom in again. And it's banding, you can see here, this step in between color A and color B. And this is basically happening because there just isn't enough information between these two colors to fill in a nice smooth gradient. It can be really frustrating, but there are a couple of options for us to try to fix this issue. The first is changing the bit depth of our colors. The bit depth is basically the amount of possible color values per channel there are. The After Effects default setting is 8 bits per channel, which translates at 256 possible colors per channel. The channels being red, green and blue. So that's 256 color options for red, 256 for green and 256 for blue. So in our projects panel here, or if you can't see this panel, window, project, at the bottom you will see this 8 BPC button here, bits per channel. If we click that, and at the top our depth is currently 8 bits per channel. So if we click on this and go to 16 bits per channel, so this ups our number of values per channel from 256 per channel to somewhere around 65,000, which is a pretty substantial increase. So if we click OK, and straight away I can see that our gradient is now nice and smooth. If you're still seeing some banding in yours, you can even go back and select 32 bits per channel. However, I would avoid doing this as it can increase your render time quite significantly, so stick to 16 bits if possible. So I'm just going to put this back to 8, so we can try option number 2. So for our next option, we want to create an adjustment layer. So we'll do this up here, layer, let's make sure we clicked in the correct window, layer, new, adjustment layer. So either up here in our effects and presets, we can search for noise, or we can go up here to effect, down to noise and grain and noise. And what we're going to do is firstly, uncheck the use color noise box, and then put our amount of noise up to 1 or 2%. I'm going to go for 2, see if that does anything. It does, I can still see a bit of banding, so I may even increase this to 3. Let's zoom out, so I can see that our banding is now smooth. I wouldn't recommend going any higher than 5% as the noise does become a bit obvious, so if you can, 1 or 2, Maximum five, but if you can get away with two or three, I would say around there should be perfectly fine. Three working for this gradient nicely. I am aware that once this video has been uploaded and compressed, you may still be seeing some banding, even though I can't in my live window. So it's best to open up the program, follow along, and just see how these changes affect your gradient for yourself. So there is one more tip I've got for you. So I will delete this adjustment layer. And this only works if you're using the effect gradient ramp. So you can either again search for it up here, or if you select your layer, go up to effect, down to generate, and then gradient ramp. I already have a gradient ramp on my layer, so I will be using this one. And what we're going to be doing is just up in the ramp scatter. And this works in a similar way to noise where it just sort of messes with the colors, sort of scatters them slightly just to create an illusion that the banding has gone. So we can increase this quite a bit more, so to 50. Straight away I can see that our banding has gone, but if yours hasn't, you can even up that to 100. And that's even better. So this works a bit better than noise. It works in the same way, but it's less obvious as you can see. But what it does is just disrupt our channels gives it a bit of randomness just so that banding is gone. Essentially what we're looking to do is increase or disrupt the number of colours used from the start of our gradient to the end of our gradient. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope these tips have been useful. See you soon.